everyone, welcome to my show, My View Review. I am Aryan Alami, and in today's episode, we will be doing a comparison video between Limitless and Lucy. So let's start. So um, the format is, of the show will be the first part will be just comparison and review without spoilers and then the spoiler part will start. Both films are based on the myth of human being only using 10% of their brain. And now I have to confess, um, I believed that myth as well. I heard it like ages ago that humans are only using 10% of their brain. I had my doubts about it, but I kind of believed it. But um, turns out that it's only a myth and there is lots of uh, uh, theories and stories behind on how it came into being. But the reason, one of the myths uh, which I kind of think that more believable is that in the past when they were doing the brain scan, scan and then monitoring it, they couldn't see brain activity in certain part of the brain. And hence, they thought that we are not using those part of the, part of the brain. But turns out that the reason they did not see an activity in those parts was because ages ago those scans were not efficient enough to scan. We actually use hundred percent of our brain, and um, all the neurosurgeons um, are against this method, and they're saying like. Even if you have a tiny brain injury, you can, it can affect your whole body a lot. Like you can lose your motion, you won't be able to walk or something, or maybe you won't be able to see. It depends what part of the brain gets the injury. So if we humans were only using 10% of the, our brain, then small brain injury wouldn't affect us as much. But it turns out that even tiny brain injury does affect the human body a lot because we are using 100% of it and it's all a myth. So now um, films wise, both films, yes, they are based on this myth, but the stories are very different to how it's been done. So similarities wise, um, if there is a drug that will help you use 100% of your brain, but how they land on it is completely different. So this is as far as the similarity goes, the drug and the brain use it. This is the similarity, but the rest of it is completely different. Both films are um, have different story and written different way. So if you, I would recommend you to watch both of them because very different. For example, the concept of love. Boy and girl, they meet, they fall in love. And how, if not millions, we have thousands of films in the same concept. But every film will be have like slightly different. Similarly, yes, the concept of, of these two films are similar, but the stories, how it's written, how it's portrayed, is completely different. So both films are entertaining. And if I had to pick my choice, like which one would I prefer, like which one would become my favorite, I would lean more towards Limitless. Um, I liked Lucy as well, like Lucy goes really good it's it's very fascinating like there is lots of cool stuff going on in the film and um it just goes really the story the beginning it's really capturing you would want to know like oh my god what's gonna happen now what's gonna happen it's really entertaining and thrilling it goes really well up to like 80 percent of the film and then it starts to lose it and the ending is like i watched it and i was like what what? Um, so that's why I wasn't too impressed by Lucy. But yeah, 80% of the film is really good. Last 20%, not so much. Whereas the Limitless, um, it was good. Like, it was throughout very good. I wasn't disappointed watching it. It's a good film. So now comes the spoiler part. Maybe I did spoil it a little bit for you in the beginning. But you even... I would suggest don't watch the trailer of any of these films because if you watch the trailer then um, it's gonna take away everything. Cause these days they give away everything in the trailers. So don't watch the trailer, just watch the films. Both films are entertaining. Now the spoiler parts are coming. So 
Scarlett Johansson gets the drug and she starts to use 100% of her brain. The brain capacity increases and she a, she's able to control her brain, everybody else's brain, the, the network and the signals. And she can turn her own hair to black. And there's lots of cool things are going on. Um, the graphics are amazing, like take you in ancient time, like when humans, like the very beginning of humans, like how they managed to... Uh, start the fire and how they progressed so the visuals are amazing it's really entertaining um so i would i would watch it it's a good film mm, and um, then there's one part where she was the body starts to deform like into pieces so first they're saying that she can control everything and suddenly she loses the control control of her own body that was a bit iffy and she was in the airplane and then suddenly maybe the directors thought like okay yeah that's not gonna end well. So they cut it, and the next scene, she's all she has. She's back, and she has the full control. So I don't know. Maybe they were going for a different ending, and they switched it. So she was in the airplane. She's disappearing, and then next scene, cut. She's on the land, and she's fine. So I don't know what happened in there. Um. Um. So in the end, she. Um. Okay, this is the spoiler part for those who have seen the film. So um, again, please don't watch it uh, don't watch this video if you haven't watched the film she turns into a usb in the end of the film that's why i hated it like what even if they if they turned her into a google uh, it would have made more sense um, but like she is using all these big machines and they're all like melting and they it all just turns into one big usb and then she's like oh i'm everywhere it's like they kind of maybe try to say that she's also google but not really but by turning her into a USB, so I don't know, it was just like, maybe the graphic guy was so tired of putting so many animation and um, stuff, and then in the end he was like, mm, okay, just make a USB, it was like, uh, I was expecting a different ending, so maybe that she, and she just absorbed all the drug, like, that drug could have been useful for so many things. Um, I like the science way of it, that the human body does produce in placenta that drug is there so it helps the child child to grow his bone and everything so but sides of it was okay like i liked it but yeah the ending was like really I mean, limitless on the other hand it starts with a writer who is who wants to become successful but doesn't know lands up on this drug and he starts using his brain and um, he becomes successful but then there is also like everybody else who have used this drug and if you stop using it because you've used your brain capacity and now you're losing it again some people end up dying who have used it and so it lets you use 100 percent, and then you will realize that nothing left behind and if you stop using the drug you there is lots of side effects of it um so it was entertaining and um, in the end of it he becomes independent he's even running for election and all interesting films um i would give them a thumbs up they're all right films it makes you think of what we could have done um but um yeah thanks to these films i did m do more research and find out it's actually a myth so we are already using 100 percent of the brain so children kids out there don't use any drugs nothing is gonna help you <laughs> Um, I do have one of my own theories as well, like yes it's true we are using 100% of our brain but maybe we are like as a human being, maybe we are not using 100% of our ability, like if we work hard we can achieve anything we want but sometimes we're just being lazy so if we stop being lazy and put the effort then we can achieve anything we want and we have our brain to help us achieve all of those so i would suggest work hard study hard and you will get there you can do anything you want just need to put more effort into it um to build up the muscle muscle memory the human body is like human brain is amazing maybe there will be more even more research going on maybe Okay, I have one of my own theories as well, that uh, yes, maybe we are using 100% of our brain, but we can 
by building our muscle memory, we can achieve anything we want. We just need to work harder and then anything is possible. Um, that's it for this, the reviews of these two films um, and um, if you have liked this one, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Look after yourself and your family. Bye for now.